Kelly Morris is her name. She says she's not able to work right now after being suspended for those TikTok videos she made that she says are just jokes, but some people believe are a form of patient mistreatment or resident abuse. A few weeks ago, I made a video talking about a cop that lost her job for making TikToks on her shift, and I said I might make a follow-up video on a similar story, and here it is. A nurse lost her job for making TikTok videos on her shift. If you couldn't tell already, these stories are practically practically identical and honestly this one might be worse than the cop one because there is literally people's lives at stake here i hate saying the word literally but in this case it's completely true but anyways without further ado let's take a look Lenny, thank you very much. 12 investigates now a triad nurse says she has been suspended from her job after posting TikToks that went viral for some of the wrong reasons. Our Ford Hatchet spoke with both the nurse and her employer today. He joins us live in studio with this story. Ford, what are you hearing? Yeah, Kenny, we were in contact with a nurse. Kelly Morris is her name. She says she's not able to work right now after being suspended for those TikTok videos she made that she says are just jokes, but some people believe are a form of patient mistreatment or resident abuse. Kelly Morris worked as a nurse at the Citadel Winston-Salem nursing facility on 1st Street. She also has an active TikTok account where she goes by the username Bubblegum Kells and often includes content about her job that some say is way out of line. Several of you contacted WXII 12 this weekend expressing concern over videos like these that appeared to show Morris joking about mistreating her patients. Morris says they're just jokes, but she's been suspended by her employer and now has created a GoFundMe page entitled TikTok Got Me Fired, So Feed My Kids. TikTok got me fired. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. With banger TikToks such as I'd unplug your vent to charge my cell phone, me making sure my patients sleep all night because they kept me up last night, and would you slap a patient for a million dollars, which she probably asked herself after she thought about it. With videos like those, I can't believe she got fired. It's almost as if the hospital saw you as a genuine hazard to the patients in need over there. Edgy videos aside, you were making TikTok videos on the shift as a nurse. You have to be narcissistic to think that you didn't get yourself fired. Also, who's the idiot that gave her $55? As of this afternoon, the page has raised $55. After speaking with an attorney, Morris opted not to sit down with us for an interview, but in a statement to WXI 12 News, Morris says, quote, The only thing hurt in my TikTok videos were people's feelings. All my videos are comedy skits. I can understand how someone can be upset, but not to the degree they are taking it. No one was ever harmed, and I treat all my patients with great care, and they all love me. While that might be true, at the end of the day, this woman still took the time out of her shift to record TikToks. Now, in most jobs, I feel like there could be an excuse to be made. A slow day at a restaurant, an easy day at the office. This lady is a nurse. Like I said earlier, there could potentially be someone's live at stake here who needs the care of a hospital. Meanwhile, she's making TikToks about drugging her patients. Now that I think about it not only should she have gotten fired but also criminally investigated they gotta pull the files for all her former patients because this is alarming whitley patterson says her mother was taken to the citadel in winston-salem after having a heart attack earlier this year because of the pandemic patterson couldn't visit her mother but had been told she was expected to make a full recovery whitley finally was able to schedule a time to visit her mom in a tent outside the facility in march i was expecting to see her that monday at the tent um and I got a call that Sunday and said that she passed. After unexpectedly losing her 51-year-old mother, Patterson says seeing videos joking about patient health drives her mad. Mm -hmm. It was my, she was my best friend, you know, and it's just overwhelming. It is. And no words can just express how that video makes me feel. After our story Monday, Morris's TikTok account was removed by the platform, but she returned under a new username, blaming trolls for her dismissal. Monday, the Citadel Winston-Salem's parent company, Accordius Health, told WXI 12 News they would not tolerate any abuse and had, quote, reported her actions to all appropriate state and federal agencies, end quote. Kelly Morris told WXII 12 News her videos are just jokes and she doesn't believe they violate ethical standards. But for Patterson, that answer just isn't acceptable. Everybody knows um, that's not no joke. If you want to play 
that's not the profession or the field you need to play. If you want to play, you need to play with some children. You know what I'm saying? Don't play with people's life. You know, play outside of the clock. And you can hear the emotion in Patterson's voice. She told me she doesn't believe Morris should be allowed to continue to treat patients. As for Morris, she says she doesn't feel she's done anything wrong in this case and says it's just an expression of her dark sense of humor. You know what? I'm actually happy she posted those videos on TikTok. If she hadn't made those TikToks, she would have never gotten fired. So there is now one less bad nurse in a hospital. Now, I did see a news article talking about this nurse. Credit to Sparkle Coon on Twitter for sending it to me. But let's see what they had to say. The Citadel at Winston's Salem was made aware of the TikTok videos by an employee last week. Our team investigated content and acted immediately. Any form of resident abuse is never tolerated. Be assured we have handled the situation and reported her actions to all appropriate state and federal agencies. I have to say, good on them for acting immediately. That's the best thing they could have done in this situation. Probably the only thing. I mean, what decent hospital would want to have one of their nurses making TikToks on the job? Miss Bubblegum Kells said she thinks she has been a victim of cancel culture targeted by people who don't have a sense of humor. Yeah, that pretty much confirms the fact that Bubblegum Kells is yet another clout-chasing narcissist over on TikTok. TikTokers and narcissism, what else is new? Her employer also declined an interview with WXII, but in a statement, the Citadel at Winston-Salem's parent company, Accordius Health, saying, quote, The Citadel at Winston-Salem was made aware of TikTok videos by an employee last week. Our team investigated content and acted immediately. Misuse and unprofessional use of social media platforms by employees violates our core values and is not tolerated. Any form of resident abuse is never tolerated. Be assured we have handled the situation and reported her actions to all appropriate state and federal agencies. And the company's statement went on to say that they love their residents and are grateful for their health care team that protects them. And Morris told me that to her, this is just another example of cancel culture. and says she feels she's being targeted by a campaign of people who just can't take a joke. Kenny? Lastly, after doing a little bit of research on Bubblegum Kells, I actually found the GoFundMe that was featured on the news. Her goal is $20,000, which seems a little crazy. I wonder how exactly she got to that figure. What was the process to come up with $20,000? Anyways, out of that 20 k goal, so far she has raised a whopping $825 in about a month that the fundraiser has been up. At least $825 is better than nothing. Maybe Maybe next time just do your job and help people that need to be helped in the hospital. That should keep you employed. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for some more juicy videos coming soon to the channel. And until then, stay sexy. Peace.